Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's King Toast Pro here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. This is where I'm going over how to remove banding, usually in gradients, and if that occurs, I'll be showing you guys how to remove it. And it's really easy to do. So first, you will see that I have a gradient, of course. You may have a gradient or a photo in this case. But if you zoom in really closely, you'll see that there's stripes of lines going across. Now, if you don't see this, it's probably because my video that I re that I uploaded to to YouTube, which is probably what you're, wa you're watching it on, um, it compressed it, so you may not be able to see it. But if you do, I would recommend to watch it in full screen. So if you have the moment right now, uh, make it full screen, play it in HD, uh, so you can see this. But there is lines. You can see that there's banding across each of uh, each through each color, pretty much. I don't know how to explain it, but there is banding in this picture. And so again, you might have to experience this on your own monitor. You can't really, uh, I can't really show you through what I've recorded. So just keep that in mind. So to remove banding in photo in Photoshop, it's really easy to do. You're gonna have to download an action. And I found this guy on for some I don't know. I, I found this guy, um, or I came across this guy uh, named Jeff Broderick. I think that's how. <laughs> that's how, I think that's how you pronounce his name. If not, then. I'm sorry, but anyway, yeah, I'll post the link in the description so you can uh, have quick access to it. And in the bottom right here, uh, it gives you he gives you a little brief description. Click the link right here in blue, and it's gonna take you to this website. Um, and I'll also post the link in the description as well. So obviously, or you can go over to nomorebanding.com. Simple as that. Now actions. Uh, what are actions? Well. In Photoshop, if you go over to Photoshop real quick, um, you will have an option where it says actions right here. If you don't have that, uh, you can click this little arrow right here, expand panels. And now if you don't have expand panels or you can't find it, go over to window and go to actions. And that will just pretty much enable this right here. Uh, so you can just click the play button right here. And the actions, um, it brings up a list of actions that you can do. So what an action is, is pretty much Think of it as a video right now that you're watching. It's recorded. Like everything you do will always be recorded. Okay. That's the same thing that Photoshop does. So like everything you apply to, everything you change, you apply, will be recorded into what's called an action. And you can install an action in Photoshop CS6 with this thing right here uh, called uh, No More Banding. That's the thing that they're going to be using. It's a .atn file. And that's for Photoshop. So um, what this allows you to do is you can select it and click play, and that will play the rec the previous recorded whatever what person have has done to to apply or to remove the banding. So what I do is I go over to here, click download. Once you click download, you're gonna click the zip. It's gonna be in a zip, so you're gonna have to unzip the file. I'm using a Mac, so maybe a little bit different uh, if you're on Windows. Or if you're on Windows, it's going to be a little different on Mac. So it's kind of, you know, trial and error. But you will see that there is a file right here. All I'm going to do is double click this. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. So I'm not going to risk doing anything. But um, so once you have it installed to Photoshop, go over to the play button here. Um, you can also create a new, uh, a new action, but we're not going to be doing that. We're, we're going to be opening up a, a folder named No More Banding uh, 0.5. And you want to click Master Dither. Um, so once you have selected that, you're going to click Play. And when I click Play, it's going to apply the effects that the the person has applied to. So now if you zoom in a little bit closer, you will see that there's it reduced the amount of banding dramatically. Really, really good stuff. Uh, so this really helps if you're trying to get rid of lines that are just going across everywhere in circles. Those annoying lines, okay? That's how you get rid of um, banding with this action, okay? Now, um, this right here says copy merge to new layer. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to mess with this action right here, but just make sure you have the master dither selected. Click play, and then it's going to apply the effect to your image. So, uh, if this helps you in any way, then please, please leave a like. Oh my goodness. Leave it, I'm just going back, I'm pressing Command Z, so. Uh, leave a like in the ratings below. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, I'll read them. I'll go over to help you if you have any questions 
regarding this video. And go ahead and subscribe because that really helps me and it makes me happy. It puts a smile on my face. And you can see more videos if you subscribe. Um, or you can just go over to my channel and click uh, just search for videos. I do do a lot of tutorials. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're going to be searching for a lot of tutorials. I do a lot of them on my channel. And I will see you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out.